my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode is The Same God. The same God that created the world and Adam and Eve is the same God that watches over us today. He is the one that loves us so much that he tries over and over again to redeem us from our nature. We can depend on him because he doesn't change. The same God that sent plagues to Egypt also protected his people in Goshen at the same time. He is the God that sent down fire to prove that he was God when Elijah prayed a simple prayer on Mount Carmel. He is the miracle worker. When his people were being forced to bow to a golden statue, three Hebrew men stood strong. They did not bow and were thrown into the fiery furnace for punishment. God protected those three men in the middle of the fire. He is still the same. He is still our protector in the middle of the fire. It doesn't matter what we face, he is there to see that we are not overtaken. He's the same God that kept Daniel safe in the lion's den when he should have been devoured instantly. He has a way of turning around the desperate situations of life. We are safe placing our hope in him. Look at all the examples in the word. There is no good thing he will withhold from them that love him. We can be comforted that because God doesn't change that we have stability. We have assurance that we can depend on him. He is not like a lot of people that we know. One day they're one way, then you see them a week later and they act completely different. God can be relied on to always be the same. His word doesn't change. What was sin in the Bible times is still sin today. He doesn't make exceptions for us. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives within each and every believer. God is all-powerful, and there is nothing that he will not do for his children. Well, maybe one thing. He will not allow us to continue in rebellion and sin. Being our God means he will be all we need, our deliverer, healer, hope, peace, strength, savior, friend, father, and our safe place to run when life gets tough. We will be fine in the storm because he holds us in the palm of his hand. No amount of war, financial instability, famine can affect us if we fully and truly trust in him. Look at Elijah. During a famine, God sent him to a brook and then sent ravens to bring him bread and meat. Then when the brook dried up, God sent him to a widow to perform a miracle for her. And God used that miracle to sustain Elijah, her, and her son through the remainder of the famine. There's no wonder why governments try to ban the Bible. Because if we could truly get down on the inside of us who God is and who he is to us, there would be no stopping his people. We will walk by faith and not by sight if we can get that on the inside in our spirit. We will walk by who we know God is and not by what our circumstances look like. He is the same God that came to earth as a babe and suffered horrendous things for us to redeem us and change our circumstances. He does not change, but we need a big change. We need to learn how to walk in the spirit and not by our fleshly nature. Galatians five nineteen through 21 Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envying, murder, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. All the works of the flesh are about changing and not being stable, living for self and being selfish, not caring about others, but only what brings us what we want at the time for that moment. It's about acting on impulse. Then the next moment, our flesh seeks some other sin to bring about what we desire. None of this brings about any stability. Remember, God is stability. He never changes. How can we have stability? We allow the fruit of the Spirit to grow in our lives. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, 
meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. The fruit of the Spirit is the character of God. Read that list again. God is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. The more God's fruit grows in our life, the more stable we become. It doesn't matter what the world tries to throw at us, we can draw on the examples of his word and it will give us power and encouragement to keep going. We have to believe that his word is true and we learn stability by studying his word. When people change, it implies they lose some of their original identity. As a child of God who has been born again, we do change. We turn from our sin nature and turn toward learning to be more like God. We allow his spirit to be our guide and not our impulses. Since God is perfect, there is not any need for him to change. This is why he is the same as he was before time was created. We can depend on him because he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focused. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a good day.